A silent problem faces many women, especially after we have kids or as we age. 30% of women have issues with a leaky bladder, and here to discuss this with us is Dr. Lauren Stryker. She's a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Northwestern University and the medical director of the Northwestern Medicine Center for Sexual Medicine and Menopause. You may have even seen her on with Steve Harvey. Dr. Stryker, good to see you. Yeah, thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming in today. Uh, so how many women does this affect? It affects a lot of women. We are talking over 30% of women experience inadvertent leakage of urine at some point in their life. Mm -hmm. And this is young women. You know, wow. Everyone thinks this is an old person problem. Right. These are women in their 30s and 40s. And did you know that the adult diaper industry is the fastest growing industry and is due to surpass baby diapers. What? And it's not because babies are using less diapers, wow. it's because adults are using more diapers. Well, and and are, do women just get embarrassed to talk to somebody and then they just go to the drugstore well, and, and buy exactly their own fix? It. They feel very isolated. They don't want to tell anybody about it. And they think that there's no solution other than surgery or medications. So they just buy diapers, which is fine. It's a way to manage the problem, mm -hmm. but they need to know that there are safe, effective solutions beyond surgery or medication. So what are some of those well, options? Let's start with Kegels. You know, people tell women Kegel. Do and your Kegel I, exercises, And I can right. tell you that most women will say, I tried that, it didn't work, that's why I'm wearing diapers. And the reason why Kegels don't work is because most women don't do them correctly or consistently. Okay. Because the root of the problem are pelvic floor muscles that nice group of muscles that line the bladder and the pelvis that keep things in control and those muscles are no longer functional. Wow. So the idea is to make them stronger. Now the number one go-to is pelvic floor physical therapy, which is something a lot of women have not heard about. Okay. Everyone knows what a physical That's therapist a is. It's a real thing. Okay. What and, is you know, it? How does it well, work? A muscle's a muscle, right? So whether right. you're talking an arm muscle or a leg muscle, well a pelvic floor physical therapist has specialized training in rehabilitating those pelvic floor muscles. Huh. So not only do they get stronger, but they contract when they're supposed to and relax when they're not supposed to. Okay. So those women that they get that key in the door and they've got that got to go, I'm not going to make it feeling, <laughs> helps that as well. You have excellent, excellent pelvic floor physical therapists here in Cincinnati. I met one of them last night mm -hmm. at the Cincinnati Sexual um, Health Consortium meeting. Okay. And so I know that it is widely available, but let's face it, not everyone has access to a pelvic floor physical therapist. They might not be comfortable with yeah. it. What are they going to do when they're not going to the so therapist? So what are they going to do? Well, there's do? a number of home devices that are out there. And do they work? Well, that's exactly the question because okay. there's all these, you know, there's Benoit Balls and there's Jade Eggs and there's this and there's that. Right. And there's some new devices that have come out that are meant to really reproduce what a pelvic floor physical therapist does. Okay. There's one that just got FDA cleared last week. It's called Detain by uh, In Control Detain? Medical. Attain. A-T-T-A-I-N. Okay. And this is not only cleared for use with leaky bladders, but leaky bowels, which mm. is another taboo topic that a lot of women and men are suffering from. Okay. And this is a home device that was designed to kind of reproduce what the pelvic floor physical therapist does. It basically not only will stimulate the muscles to contract and make it stronger, but it also gives us a guided exercise program and most important, biofeedback. So unlike oh, okay. those Kegel muscles that you're not doing right, you're going to know if you're doing this right. Do you have to have a prescription to get you that? Do you do not. You can just go buy it? This is over the counter. You go to incontrolmedical.com. Right. I think of it as a trip to the gym for your pelvic floor. It's kind of like bringing home that therapist yeah. with you. And even if you are lucky enough to have a pelvic floor physical therapist, this is just going to add on to what you're doing with her. Not to mention, you don't get physical therapy forever. You know, most people right. only get 12 weeks or something. Sure. And it's just like going to the gym. You gotta maintain it. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is yeah, I get the diaper thing, but let's stop normalizing diapers for adults and really think in terms of improving the situation, making it better. And, and, and we're almost out of time, Dr. Stryker, but I think it's a really good opportunity to, to stress how important it is that you see a healthcare provider that you're comfortable talking to, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, and if your doctor doesn't bring it up, then you need to bring it up because they yeah. might not know this is a problem. And it is, as you said, people are so silent about it they feel so isolated. I can guarantee you, if you are having problems losing urine when you cough, laugh, sneeze, when you mm -hmm. put that key in the door, you are so not alone, which is why diaper sales yeah, are like, in Japan, good. they've actually overtaken baby wow. diapers. Attain was the name of that device if you want to talk with your doctor. Dr. Lawrence Stryker, thank you so much. Enjoy thank Cincinnati. You.